Hello, welcome to the show, everybody. I am Tony Green, and this is Psychic Medium Tony Green. Today, I will be doing um, 30 minutes worth of uh, this right here, stammering and stuttering for you. <laughs> okay, this show is being uh, aired over Blog Talk, Spreaker, and many other podcasts that I am so grateful for. It is also being streamed live via YouTube and will be aired on WSCS and WSCS's website. So we're going to get started in a second. I am going to start taking callers and allowing each caller to ask one question or have one um, connection to the other side. Please be respectful and don't start with a connection that turns into a question. I'll mute you because it's not fair to the other callers. Don't ask a question that then leads to another question because I'll have to mute you because it's not fair to the other callers. I have people who call, have been calling in for months trying to get through and the switchboard is completely packed each and every time. When I call out your area code, please take me off of speakerphone and talk directly into your phone. Mm-hmm. Put it right to your head and talk into it. The back Ground noises make it almost impossible for me to hear you. And because this is being aired and re-aired, the background noises um, really affect the quality of the show. Okay, the last announcement I want to make is that um, I am also doing Create a Life You Love via YouTube. And you can see episode those episodes on my YouTube channel. I haven't figured out a schedule for that yet. So you can, um, if you subscribe, you will get notifications when my shows are coming out or when they have come out. Otherwise, you can just watch for them. Either way, it's fine. Hey, Genevieve, big hugs to you. Um, I think that's everything. And this show airs every Monday at noon for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go to the very first caller. And um, again, please go off of speakerphone when I say your area code. 313. Hey, hi. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Sherelle, Michigan. Okay, Sherelle, how can I help you today? Just a message from the other side. Okay, who is there? Somebody? Uh, do you want a spirit? Do you want an angel or a particular person on the other side? An angel. Okay, okay. The angel that's coming through for you is um, actually uh, Jophiel. J O P H I A L is what I'm seeing. And Jafael wants to tell okay. you that today's the day that you can, um, I really like this message, by the way, and I hope that you replay this because I don't think, I, I'm going to replay this just to, to re-listen to this message that's coming through for you. So the message that's coming through for you in this very thunderous tone is that, Today is the day that your life can change. If only you would think a different thought. If only you would think a thought that put you in a different direction, your life would change today and remain changed forever. You have the ability to change your life one thought at a time. And it doesn't have to be a big, booming change. It can be one minute little thought that changes everything for you in the beat of a heart. If you, if you, mm. if you take a moment when a thought, a repetitive thought from the past comes in to stop that thought and say, no, 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 no more is that the truth and change that thought into what you want your life to look like from that moment forward, 
we will move heaven and earth to make that your existence. Oh my gosh, I really like that. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Sherelle, that is beautiful. I am I'm actually uh, blushing a little bit on that one. I'm so excited. So what I'm going to do to help you, Sherelle, everyone listening and everyone re-listening, I'm going to um, do a clearing or a healing. And this is going to be, we have negative thoughts and thought patterns. I get a yes, so I'm going to clear that. Well, the angels are going to clear that for each and every one of us. And then I'm going to also test our thoughts, our positive and life changing and i get a no so we're going to oh clear that too and you know what i did just start with this sherelle just start with i deserve better yeah i deserve better every every day just wake uh, up and yeah. say i deserve better uh -huh. because we were put here to have this beautiful amazing existence that allows us to yeah have you know to flourish and to have this just this amazing life we were not put here to to suffer yes. we want to we want to be in that place where we know that and we grow that not only for ourselves but for others oh. also because yes. we can't preach what we're not doing because nobody will listen so Sherelle Start doing, and you won't even have to preach because people will just start following. Well, Jaffiel is still apparently talking mm. through me. <laughs> I love this. I love it. <laughs> so you say the message basically was just change my thoughts and everything would change and wake up to say I deserve better every morning? Yes. And, and believe me, with these changes in your thoughts. Affirmations. Yes, um, yes, kind of, but more so um, a new belief system because we achieve what we believe. Okay. We get what we believe. And even more so, we get what we believe we deserve. So start with, you know, yes. I deserve better and then go into I am going to have a better day. I, even if some, you know, even if you okay. like, even if like, no matter what happens, that's, the, you know, here's the thing about us humans. We can have something really amazing happen. And five seconds later, we forget about it. And we're back on to our whatever, so on and so forth day. But if we have something like we stub our toe, all day long, that's all we focus on is the negative thing that happened. What we need to do is any yeah. little thing that happens, any little bitty thing that happens, that's good. We need to focus on that. Believe me, if I find a penny, even a penny in the street, I'm like, yes. And I said this in my yes, I said this in my last episode of um, Create a Life You Love. I said, anything that happens that's good, just say, this is the beginning of my winning. Now I'm winning. So if you find a, a dime on the street, oh, yeah. this is the beginning <laughs> of my winning. It's turning around. Here it all comes. Like it's starting with a dime. It's going to a dollar. Yeah. It's going to a hundy. And then I'm on my way. You know, you just uh, have to have, uh -huh. that, you have, to have that, your way, yeah. yep, that system, that belief, that bringing it all together and owning it, Okay. So believe you deserve okay. better. Thank you. Oh, you are so welcome, beautiful. I you do. are so welcome. And then just start only um, accepting that and making sure you are uh -huh. um, in that space where even if something goes a little off kilter, you just can have that key phrase, I deserve better and go with that. Okay, beautiful? Okay, thank you. You're very helpful. Thank you. And have a good day. You too. I'm going to be doing um, more clearings throughout the show. I'm going to be doing more um, messages throughout the show. Um, and I'm going to be uh, definitely, definitely, uh, hopefully channeling more angels throughout the show. 
So the next person, the next caller, please make sure you uh, take me off of speakerphone. The next caller is area code 313. Hello, 313. Yes, How are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. You're right, took me. <laughs> yep, you're right, Sherelle. So sorry. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe they had another message for you. I'm going to go to 314 so we can see where the mix up was because ah, I'm trying to hit 314. There we go. 314. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Excellent. And what's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Martha, and I'm from Missouri. Oh, hello. How can I help you today? <laughs> I just would like to see if you could connect me with past loved one. Uh, okay, first name and relationship? Just whoever you can pick up. I don't do that. I require, um, because everybody starts to come in, and I'm not going to try to sort them all out. So just give me a name and a relationship, please. Um, I'll just ask more about my love life, if you can pick up anything. Okie dokie. I'm going to go to the next caller, 708, area code 708. Please have uh -huh. an exact question or an exact connection available for me. Okay, my question is, um, I have a, um, something coming up um, on Friday, and I was wondering, do you see it going in my favor? Yes. Ooh, big time in your favor. I hear, um, I don't like making this comparison, but I hear winning. Like, who is that guy from that one show? He kept going winning. I'm still winning. Um, I feel like this is going to come in. Yes. <laughs> I think so. Well, what I'm hearing is this is going to go better than you thought. Okay. It's going to go a little bit better than you thought. And you're going to have it, like, ah, oh, they're sh okay. So they're showing me that like the top of a, of a, of a mountain that I think is actually a volcano and like this win sends overflow to everyone. I don't know if this makes sense to you. I hope it does. Whatever the outcome of this thing is, um, it's going to have a positive, positive effect, not only on you, but on others. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes. Perfect. Excellent. So I'm going to do um, this. I'm going to uh, just say... Uh, for you, for everybody listening, for everybody re-listening, who I'm going to say um, our good luck switches are turned on. I get a no, so we're going to switch that to a yes. Who? And I'm going to say um, anybody having any upcoming, what, what would I call this? Anybody having any upcoming decisions, they will be in their favor. And I get a yes, so we are going to strengthen that. So it will will be very good for all of us. Okay, love, not only you, but for everybody else too. We need everything to turn around and start going in the direction of the, I want to say the people, but in the direction of, yeah, us, in the direction of the people. We need everything to start taking off for us again, right? So... I hope this was Thank you. you are so welcome, please. Um, and if there is a stall in the answer, don't be nervous about that. Know that whether it's Friday or shortly thereafter, it will definitely be in your favor. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. You too. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to say this one more time because apparently I need to. Um, when I call your area code, have either a specific person you want to connect with on the other side or a very specific question. There are, my switchboard is full and there are a lot of people waiting and I'm not going to fish around all the energy of whatever it is that, 
that like a, a very vague question or vague connection. The, the, the reason I do this is so that I can help as many people as possible. So give me a very specific question or a very specific connection. If you want a connection, I just need the first name and relationship of whomever you're connecting with. If you have a question, it can be about any aspect of your life. All righty, here we go. Uh, area code six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, how are you yes. today? Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm fine. Good. How can I help you? My question today is, um, should I have my surgery this year or next year? I'm considering cosmetic surgery, but I'm not sure if I should do it this year or next year. Okay, I'm very clearly hearing next year, and I'm hearing you haven't found the right... Um, I feel like you haven't found the right facility yet. I feel like, okay, here's what I'm going to tell you. Whatever it is you're thinking about getting done, if you can hold off just a little bit, by the time you have it done, there will be a better process for doing this. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not. I'm going to give you a really quick analogy, and hopefully this will make sense to you. Back in the day when women would go in for breast augmentation, they'd have to cut open the whole like bottom of their breast, and then they changed it to just this little sliver where they could put the implant in and then fill it. Okay, so it's not exactly that, but if you can hold off a little bit, I feel like it's going to the, it's going to be more cost effective for some reason, and it's going to be an easier, pro, like a better, pro, like a better solution is going to come up at a different facility. It'll get the same result, but it will be in a different way at a different facility in a different process. So if you can hold off just a little bit on this, it, you're going to get a much better reward for, for it. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I I hope that was helpful. I know sometimes when we want these things done, we really want them done. Um, but it and if you go now, if you go this year, it won't be wrong or bad. You'll have a very good outcome. Okay, you'll have the results will be good for you. You'll be happy with your results. But if you wait until Next year, the process will be easier and better for you. I hope that makes sense to you. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing day. And until next time, I am going to go directly to 630. Hello, 630. How are you today? Hi. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, Dion, I'm calling from Chicago. Okay, can you please take me off speakerphone? You're not on speakerphone. Oh, there's a lot of background noise. Okay, how can I help you today? Oh, you know, I'm like running away from it because I don't want you to get oh. mad. <laughs> I'm walking down the street and they have chopping trees down. Oh, gotcha. That's I'm like running away from it. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, how, how can I help you today, La? Uh, uh, any details that you could pick up in regards to me having a new residence for myself? Okay, give me one second. Is she moving? Yes, you are moving. Uh, have you already, are you already, like, I don't know. I hear in a month, in a month, in a month. Now, I don't know if you've already given your notice to move or if you're going to, if you're getting prepared to do the whole move in a month, if you're going to set everything into action in a month. But the one thing I need to tell you is this is going to go a lot more quickly than you think it is. Once you put it out there, 
everything is going to move very quickly. So make sure you're ready with whatever decisions you make. Make sure you're ready. I, I hope that makes sense to you. But make sure you're ready because everything is going to go extremely quickly for you. And I, I oh, thank God. Yeah. I, well, and they're saying have a there. It's going to go so quickly. You might even need a backup plan. So oh. just make sure. It's like, OK, so right now people are putting their houses on the market and they're getting snatched up and people are offering extra. And if you can be out by this date, we'll pay this much. Um, I feel like whatever this is, it's going to go so quickly. Whether you're going from one wet rental to the next, everything is going to just pop into place very quickly. Okay. So just whatever you're doing, be prepared because it's going to go faster than you think or you expect. Okay, beautiful. Thank you very much for that message. I appreciate you. You, oh, you, thank you so much. And you are so welcome. Until next time, have an amazing rest of the day. Okay, I'm going directly to caller 402. Hello, 402. How are you today? Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Sharon. Um, I was hoping to get a message from my mother. Okay. Spirit. Yeah, she is. Okay. Your mom is, he, I, I believe this is either your mom or your grandma, but I think it's your mom. Um, or it, I hear both. I hear both of them are here. So what I'm going to tell you straight away, straight away, the first thing they want to say is they, they love you. Um, I believe it's your mom who's apologizing. She's saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, either for the way she left or how quickly she left. Or uh, it's something about, uh, she, I hear left, left, left. Um, it really took, did, did she leave very quickly? Did she leave like, did she leave a mess or did she leave very quickly or unexpectedly? Okay. Both. Um, okay. The, I, I'm trying to, cl I just want to make sure I'm getting the right message from the right person. So she's saying she's sorry, she's sorry, she's sorry. And then I hear left, left, left. So I'm, I'm going, okay, for leaving quickly, leaving a mess. And she's, she's saying you, you're doing or did, um, you're doing amazing. You're doing amazing, much better than she would have thought. Um, you've really, pulled it together you've really pulled it together and you're having very um very uh, uh uh like you're just maneuvering you're maneuvering very well all all things considered because aside from this it seems like every time you turn around something else is kind of as she puts it, falling out of the sky. And you're having to maneuver around all of these things um, that kind of keep popping up or happening. And you're doing an amazing job of, of doing that is what she's saying. That's her, her main message. She wants you to know she's watching you and that you're doing really well. And don't I don't know if this is going to make sense to you, but I hope so. Don't worry about the naysayers. <laughs> don't worry about what anybody else says or thinks. And she's actually saying, screw them. Who cares? <laughs> you just do you. So she's actually really just coming in kind of strong and saying, um, anybody who doesn't like the way you handled or are handling things, basically screw them who cares okay you do what you know is best and you do what you know is right and and don't worry about what anybody else is thinking or saying okay um does she have any comment about my daughter our relationship's really bad right now uh give me a second 
Okay, so this I this is I, I'm gonna repeat something she already said, and it might be you might not expect her to give this answer for this situation, but the one thing she's saying is um I'm gonna say it in a different way this time. I'm gonna use different verbiage. She really wants to say, um, uh, she is not being gentle about this. There are things going on with your daughter that you're not really aware of. Um, you need to look at it from an outside perspective, kind of listen to what other people are saying so you can get the facts. Um, of some of the things that are going on with your daughter and you can um, then understand it because you're a little bit confused right now and it's because you don't have all the facts. You don't know everything going on and what you need to do is back up, take a bigger look at everything and don't, don't concede. Um, don't, don't concede. Don't, don't, uh, just don't concede. Be strong. Be strong with this. All you can do right now is be strong and hold tight to what's going on. If you concede, it will be more problematic down the line. Um, she's saying your daughter might have some issues that really need to be looked at. Um, and on the air, even though I'm hearing things right now, and I know nobody knows who you are, nobody nobody's knows who your daughter is, but on the air, I'm not comfortable saying what she is more specifically saying. But if you looked at this as an objective outsider, you would have a much better idea and a much better perspective like for example if this was one of your friends you could immediately say oh a b and c is going on but because it's your daughter you're not looking at it objectively and she's asking you to step back look at everything objectively don't take shit oh i can't swear this is for the tv show don't take poop and um don't let her don't be manipulated is the biggest thing there are things going on that you're not completely aware of and you need to really step back and say, if this was going on with a friend, how would I assess this? And that is the best thing that, that that's the best way that she can bring this information for you via the show. Okay. Um, but th thank you so much for calling. I'm really happy that I did get to connect with you seconds. and answer that question. I'm going to let you know now that um, there is also uh, the, the other thing she would say is really look at having a third party get involved with this and not a family or friend. Um, possibly somebody a little bit more professional involved with this situation to see if some things can't be brought out into the open for you, okay? Okay, I want to thank you for joining me here today.